Hello, and welcome to the unboxing of the Harry Potter Wizards Collection. This thing, I, I, before this, I didn't own the Harry Potter movies in any capacity. In fact, I've only seen two of them, the first two, and they were good. But I've read the books, and I loved them. And I wanted to own the films, but I've been waiting because I've been wanting a good way to own them, not just the basic vanilla Blu-rays. But neither do I want to hunt down the individual collector's editions because that gets expensive. So this thing is the ultimate collection, the, the Harry Potter Wizards collection, the definitive way to own the films in one fell swoop, one big collection. And it costs $500, but I didn't pay that because I can't afford that, and that's really expensive. So, but Amazon last week, this week actually, had it as the deal of the day for half off, so two fifty, which comes out to about thirty bucks per Blu-ray, which is really cheap, because that's about how much a Blu-ray costs. But this comes with much more than just the Blu-ray, as we'll see. It it's includes thirty-one discs. That's the Blu-rays, the DVDs. There's also digital copies, which you redeem through Ultraviolet. You also get a cloth map of the world of Harry Potter, blueprints of Hogwarts, a Horcrux locket. And art books, a book of labels of different things they have in the series, and the uh, documentary, the eight-part documentary, two parts which were released with this set, never before had they been released, and many, many other little trinkets contained therein. I haven't opened the box yet. I'm about to do the unboxing. So it's going to be as new for me as it is for you, unless you've opened one before, in which case... This is kind of a redundant video. In any case, let's get ready. Here first is the outer box. It was actually originally in another box, like a plain cardboard box, that was itself packed into an Amazon shipping box but I didn't think that would be as interesting plus I couldn't wait to tear into it whenever UPS dropped it off so I didn't include that part in the unboxing so that's the little stickers holding the box open let's see how this opens aha uh -huh. so it opens out opens up Uh, that's not what I expected. I figured this was an actual box, not just a enclosure. So let's set this aside. So here it is, the true outer shell. Everything else was just wrappers of this collection. Opening the lid, what's in here? Hmm. Year one. It's the Blu-ray. the theatrical version of the DVD, special features DVD, and Creating the World of Harry Potter, Part 1, The Magic Begins, Blu-ray. So that was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone up there. And it gets even more exciting. There's a drawer in this pullout that includes your two.
and near three. It seems. I'd say it's the same deal, so I'll speed through it. Yeah, there's the Blu-ray movie. The DVD theatrical. Special features. And the making of part two. The World of Harry Potter Part 2, about the characters. And the Prisoner of Azkaban. For the sake of speed, I will not go through that quite yet. Although you better believe I will be digging through it off camera. So that's the first tier here. Ooh, that wasn't a good sound. Second tier. Pops out. There's another drawer. We have Year 4, The Gobble of the Fire. Year 5, The Order of the Phoenix. And Year 6, The Half-Blood Prince. And, yep, same drill. DVD, Blu-ray, special features. So, I'll replace that. This looks like it pulls out. We still haven't found year eight or year seven, which is movies. Seven, six, and eight. This looks like it comes. Yes, it does, but there's no, there's no real way to grip it. So it's a scroll. It's curious. I uh, don't know what this is. Ah, it's the ultraviolet, can't show it, because then you can see the code and steal it. Ultraviolet download code for the movies. That's good to know. Let's see if I can put this back in its package, in this little ribbon. Eh, I'll do it later, after I've redeemed the codes. So that goes in there. Let's see what's in here. It's wrapped in plastic. Probably the Horcrux. It's a certification label. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is seriously legit. This is like not cheap. This is metal. And it opens. I believe. It looks like it does. Yes. I put a picture in there. Voldemort probably kept a picture of that awful snake. I'll replace this. Appears to be the only thing in the drawer. There's a styrofoam piece used to to brace the to brace the necklace. <coughs> Certificate of authenticity. Put it back. Lots of goodies. Here's the label collection. It has labels of different products from the Harry Potter world. Let's see, there's uh, Sparkling Spring Spell Water and Fiery Black Pepper Imps. Lots of cool things. I'm going to be flipping through that later. And this says. Stuart Craig sketches. Well, that's beautiful. Concept art. 
I'm likewise going to be flipping through that later. So that's the fin drawer, number one. Ah, you're seven. I was wondering where that was. I guess it's expected. Part one. Same deal with the... It has a 3D version. That's curious. I don't have a 3D TV, but I'm unlikely to... to want, a, to want one anytime soon. And part seven of the, and then Deathly Hallows part two, likely the same deal. Although I could be pleasantly surprised, but I'd say it's still the same deal. Ah, and the certificate of authenticity. That is important. The there were sixty three thousand of these. And mine was number 5,631. So apparently these aren't selling. Or else they're not selling in order. Can't, I'm not surprised since it was so expensive. But, you know, I'm sure a lot were sold the day that I bought mine. When it was Amazon still of the day. And here are some beautiful portraits of different things in the movie. And here, it's like a brochure for things. Yeah, it's a catalog. I can buy wands and crap. And I may do that. There's also a studio tour of Warner Brothers advertised. So yeah, they, they advertise in this product, but that's cool because they're advertising cool stuff. So that does it for all of the main compartments that I could see, but I know there's more. How do I know there's more? Because the side of the box said so. And I didn't see any explanation on the side of the box of where to find it, but I know from having read about it online where to find it. If I can get this last drawer back in. The last drawer is back in. So, according to the interwebs, there's a secret compartment back here. Let's reach back, tug, aha. So, in this secret compartment is a bonus disc. This includes When Harry Left Hogwarts, Extended Version, 50 Greatest Harry Potter Moments, and other such things. And you know, I know there's even more than that. And I'm not sure where it's at, but it's probably my most anticipated part of this box set besides the movie itself. So I'm going to find it before I finish this. So the Marauder's Map, not the Marauder's Map, the map of the Harry Potter world and the blueprints of Hogwarts elude me. First, the Harry Potter catalog of artifacts. Let's 
just to look at different things inside the Harry Potter world. Here is the Harry Potter Hogwarts uh, blueprints, which I will not open quite yet. And here is the money. This is what I've been anticipating. Is there anything else? Nope, nothing in there. <coughs> Dear Lord, this is a cloth map. That was the thing that held it. And I want to frame this really badly. It's even got an item for hooks. And this map is gorgeous and it is high quality. I can tell by the way it feels, the way it smells. It's wonderful. This, all this, folks, basically 30 bucks per DVD, or per Blu-ray slash DVD slash bonus feature slash documentary disc, plus this for free, if you consider it like that, if you DV it up properly. So, that, my friends, should conclude this. Unboxing. I hope it was entertaining and not too long because I'm not going to edit it.